inherited the county of Thessalonike and other titles from Count David of Thessalonike. Oh. He died a natural death. And he was an imbecile. So we gave land to an imbecile. Fortunately, he died. He was also married maturely early to... Our oh, right! They were meant for each other. I forgot that Aegida was meant for David. She must be heartbroken. Let's, uh... Invite another noble here. And... Let's marry her matrilinearly to the noble we just invited. Who's quick? Oh my. That's going to make for an interesting, uh... Marriage. And now... I will give you land. The Salamite. Here, take it. And apparently we have a random barony. Servia, where the hell is Servia anyway? Oh, it's in there. I don't want it. You can have it. Transfer vassalage. Or Baron. Oh, that's so Baron of Servia. There we go. Take it. Excellent. Now all is right with the world. Good. Very good. Let's let this siege continue. Let's just rush the siege a little to um, reduce the burden on our finances a little. And apparently we may lose the siege. It may have been a bad idea. But that's okay. This act will reduce the burden of the great company on our finances. Alright. Come on. Come on. Yes! We have done it. I caught my son Nikita slang to me again, straight to my face, without batting an eye. I almost had an innocent servant set to the stocks. Even I oppressed. Yes. His diplomacy is utter garbage. Oh, 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 oh. We have a surrender. I have gained a Drake. I have gained a Drake. Once again. Didn't I just retake that a while ago? Anyway, I have retaken Thrake. I will give it to um, Kalinikos of Lichnidos. Yeah, you. Oh crap, he's weak in his pneumonic. I just got a really crappy character. This guy's gonna die. He's like health negative five. This guy will die any minute. It's not even worth giving him any land. Germanos of Jeraki. Yeah, he's lustful fortune builder. This guy will go far. Can I marry him? I can marry him to a princess of Ireland who's... I have a genius daughter who hasn't been procreating enough. Chop, chop, get to it. Uh, apparently she lose a lot of prestige. But I don't care. They will produce large amounts of babies. And at least in one generation, Thrake will become, uh... Yeah, they're both... Well, she's a fortune builder, so she's more fertile than usual. He's a fortune builder who's lustful. They should be able to produce at least one son by the time uh, this is over. Or one child, at least. Alright, and now for the big moment. We are at 20 out of 39. We can finally create the Kingdom of Greece. We control 51% of the land. It will cost us 328 gold, most of our remaining treasury, but that's acceptable. And 200 piety. We only have 359 piety, but that's okay. We are now the King of the Greeks. Or rather, the despot of the Greeks. I will nominate my brotherly hair for the time being. Yeah, he's married to this amazing warrior genius and they're not producing enough babies. Oh, she's Polish. Mm. They both have amazing warrior stats, but uh, where are the babies at? They have a daughter who I just married to the Count of the Salonaig and who just yeah, she hates me because I'm dishonorable and kinslayer. 
I wonder where that comes from. I wonder which kin I killed. I don't remember. It has been too long already. Or maybe I just killed my kin too liberally. You. I can't vassalize him. I can dejure him, but I don't want to do that. You, however. The only old Zeta. Zeta, which is part of Greece. We can dejure him. I can holy war this guy. This is no longer part of Greece. Now, uh, if we go to factions, we can start a faction for independence. Why would we want to do that? could start an independence faction, but let's see, what do I think of my liege? I hate him. Because I want control of the Duchy of Adrianopolis. That's right, I do. We do want control of the Duchy of Adrianopolis. So, while I still can, how's your war going with the, my precious liege? Oh, you're losing by not too much. Let's de jure your face. And you know, while we're at it, let's holy war this guy. Alright. Things are looking fabulous. Let's go to war! Now that we are finally this spot of Greece. Right, name changes depending on who holds it. Let's raise some boats in Neapolis. Unite them in Venice. That's gonna need just like one more boat. Okay. Boats are going to Venice. We will need to win this war faster. Load these troops. Guys are staying here. The boats are going there. We don't have enough boats. The Irish are ready to set sail. We really have people like all over the place. Get on the boats. Boats get them to the important province. heated discussion between myself and the stable master got Turinia's attention and after listening to us both she settled the matter between me and the stable master in a fair way I got the horse the stable master got the coin yay I like her more wise old lady crappy stats no real relevant children but wise old lady Egyptian Orthodox I realized, um, I think in this part of the patch notes, I can't usurp the Byzantine Empire, and I can't start a faction to make myself emperor, probably because I have no right to it. So I need to find claimants to the Byzantine Empire that aren't married, invite them to my court, 
and produce offsprings with them. Do I have unmarried dynasty members? I don't think I do. That's the problem. And the claimants in the Byzantine Empire are all, like, old. The women in particular are really not useful. Uh, Chancellor of Benevento. Uh... Not accept it. You know, no reason to move. Oh. Uh, oh, look. We have a kinswoman. She's four. She's fourteen. Anastasia Spartan. You, no matter how crappy your stats are. I will marry you matrilinearly to a Byzantine emperor. That will be my plan. That way I can become the Byzantine emperor. Oh, this guy will finally capitulate. Yay! Oh, look, we're still missing a barony. Whoops. What is this crap? Can't create a vassal. Oh, that's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. Who's this guy? No, oh, he's part of the Atbarid. The Atbarid still hold this. This is gonna be a pain. I don't want a Prince Bishop. I definitely don't want a Lord Mayor. Fighting for this at full speed. Unload the Irishman! Yeah, we, I think the next step for us if we want to go up in the world, not that we are despot of Greece. We have two ways actually. We could try to strike for independence. And then by striking with by striking for independence, um we can then if we ever have enough land try to usurp the Byzantine Empire. That also means that the Empire falls apart and is at the mercy of the Atbarid, our now new worst nemesis. Or we can engineer an heir and then strike a succession crisis while we have a claim with a member of our dynasty. I need to do something with Strymon. My revolt has broken out in Strymon, angered by my how dare they oppose me. Well, whatever. Who holds this barony? Really, who holds the barony? In Strymon. Skopje. You're the one who holds it. Holy crap! I can't just, like, mass assassinate your family. That's annoying. That is highly annoying. Alright. Siege of Kravoto. No, that's, that's not surprising. Once the barony falls, we can just strike. Back there, dismiss them because we don't need them anymore. Boats go home. This is annoying. This domain limit thing is annoying. This spot gives us a bonus. I think I need to. I do hold two duchies to maximize my stewardship, but I'm a despot anyway. Oh crap! The Byzantine Empire uh, re 
reformed. Does it matter for my war, though? No, it does not. I don't know why I decided to lay siege to Barony. I will lose the Kingdom of Greece? Hey now. What is this? Why would you support my sister? She's married to this other guy. I mean, sure, she... Well... She does have amazing stats. Hmm. And she is matrilinearly married. But do my vassals in Greece just not like me? Who's voting against me? Aegean Island and Dyrrhachion. They're guy's voting against me. Why? Why are you voting against me? I thought we were friends. So aren't there supposed to be like new succession laws? I if there's a way to change them. Where? been blinded and released and apparently he's married regularly to one of my kinswomen well that's a waste that is a horrible waste of a kinswoman however now we have to rack him we don't need this well we we'll crush this peasant revolt and then we'll dismiss the troops again and we'll give the Rakyam to some guy you are some guy. Here, take the raccoon. We can unite everything under the umbrella of despotism of Greece. Uh, I declare I am a despot of Greece. Yes! This is excellent. Uh. Why would Gregorio of Munster gain that? People are not voting for me. I guess my vassals aren't fans of me. Which is quite of a problem, trickster. Okay. Where's his capital, the at-bodied guy? Alright. Still hold the bishopric of Alexandria for some odd reason. Oh, there, there's his capital, kind of crappy capital. Um, how many troops can the realid guy bring up? Twenty thousand. That is too much for us to handle at the time being. A thief guild has been established in Monenvalia. No. It's because of this. We need to get rid of Strymon. This. Let's see, there's a little star thingy indicating. This army can be dismissed too. Gone! Gone are all the armies. I wish I could get the barony somehow. 
Bulgarian Orthodox. Uh, let's invite a holy man. And grant him the county of Thrymon. We're now Metropolitan Isakios of Strymon. Not my first choice, but uh Oh he doesn't give me a wrong government type. He doesn't care. I can work with that. It's a lot better actually. Adrianopolis Wallachia Longobardia? She's a powerful one. to let some of these guys uh, chill for a bit. It's the total power of the Byzantine Empire, just out of curiosity. Thanks to my wise stewardship of Mon Invasia, the local deal guild has been eradicated. It is good to be the despot! Yeah, we set them on fire. Oh crap, the Byzantine Emperor has access to 67,000 troops. That is not joking matters. That is definitely not joking matters. The Byzantine Emperor is finally, finally more powerful in the Arab states. We have a chance, people. We may be able to reform the Roman Empire. Huh. What is the jour Byzantine? It's huge. It is quite huge. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. We have another revolt. We have another war on the Atbarid. Revolt against the rule of Sultan Hisham of Atbarid. And defending against the claim on Egypt. Status, this little barony. Uh, you're still serving him kindly, uh, you buffoon. But wait! Now is the time to retake Rafioid. Oh, that's a powerful one. He's really powerful. Why are you getting attacked? Uh, there's some Arabian crap storm going on in here. Actually kind of interesting. Too bad he's busy with the real invasion of Sicily. Hmm. Now do we just punch more Arabs for a while? I guess so. It's the only thing we can do for the time being. Ah, but wait, we're stuck with the oh writer's imprisonment. Do Loguire of Meat, he will let us imprison him? Oh, he wants Ireland? This guy is going in. Uh, where's his capital? In Philippa? Oh, he's my steward. That's a shame. I can't have good things now, can I? Constantinople. Yeah, he's at court in Constantinople. So if I want to imprison him, I need to suppress revolts here. Only 58%. Well, no one will object, however, so let's shove him in prison. Yes! Excellent. revoke his titles, but uh, at least he will not be a pain. Let's see what we can do next that would be interesting. While this entire interesting mess is going on, we 
could do something funny like uh, fabricate a claim on Rome. Because it's good to be Roman. Yeah. I will make Rome my vassal. That would be pretty appropriate now, wouldn't it? I will declare Rome should be Spartan by right. Wait, do I own? Oh, right, no, I own this. I own Prusa. Uh, let's see, where's his capital? This guy? How many troops? Oof, 7,800. I don't have that much money to throw at him at the present. My vassals are still angry with my permanent warmongering techniques. Um, however, this feels like we're nearing the last bush here. Triasia, is it it's two things? Samos, is this two things? Nikaia is two more things. So this is a complete duchy. Uh, Samos, are you independent? No, oh, he's 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 loyal to his liege. Loyal to the bone. Oh crap! No, my Byzantine liege, don't lose. How many troops does he still have access to? Oh, forty-eight thousand. He's fine. He is more than fine. Yeah, he has 10,000 troops right there, chilling. I don't think they'll be able to do much against 13,000, but... Uh, wait, how many troops do you have access to? 18,000, and 13 of those 18,000 are there. I'm asking because I'm eyeing the prospect of taking the island of Sicily away from him. And increasing our power. Hmm. But I really want the opportunity to weaken the Atbarid and kick them out of Greece more. It's like. Yeah. These people aren't independent anymore, just like. Do of Greece in name. I mean, the despot of Greece. Not do anymore. Do's are below me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is my is Anastasia come of age? This woman who's just born. Yes, she has come of age. She's content, cynical, and a skilled tactician. She needs to produce babies. My family. She's my daughter. Uh, Byzantine Empire. Um, claimants. The Byzantine Empire. He's 40. Oh, he's a eunuch. He's not getting anywhere. He's 63, so he'll croak at any minute. Do we have any other options? We only have a 63 year old guy who has a weak claim that will not be inherited anyway, or a castrated 45 year old who has a weak claim that can't be inherited, but uh, yeah, no. Other options. The Spymaster of Kadula, you must join me. He likes his leech. If I send him a gift. I convince 